What's up y'all, it's Jeffrey back here at Flippin' Profit and we got some orders to pull. Today is Wednesday and yesterday on Tuesday I only had two items to ship out in the morning. Um, so that would have been sales from Monday which was Martin Luther King Day so totally understandable but um but we bounce back we got seven items to ship today so let's go ahead and get to it first thing to take a look at are these wrangler fr jeans i just recently listed these and someone was sending me some offers we went back and forth but eventually we settled on 19 dollars with free shipping then i've already got two other pair of wrangler jeans up here because i just recently listed them these are some size 35 by 32 and somebody came through and bought both pair they sent me 22 on one pair and 24 on another pair so I accepted their offer and let them go for a total of $46 with free shipping. That was a pretty good flip. I'm definitely going to save money on shipping the item. Probably going to stuff these into a regional rate box A because that's the best way I found to ship two pairs of pants and make plenty of profit. The next thing, I sold these Easy Spirit shoes. These anti-gravity shoes I was telling you all about. Someone was sending me offers and since I had an interested buyer, I went ahead and accepted an offer of $19 with free shipping. And these are really light. I'm probably going to stick this in a, a padded bubble mailer and try to ship it first class. I know some people probably are anal about making sure you ship shoes in a box or something, but hey, these things are durable. That's what shoes are built to be, it's durable. So I don't see the problem with sticking it in a uh, poly mailer and just shipping it first class. And then sold this remote. I uh, got full asking price, $13.77 with free shipping. I believe it's just a used pre-owned remote to a Orion TV. So yeah, pretty good flip. So 28.6. 28.6. Sold another pair of Wrangler FR jeans. That's the fire resistant jeans. And took a best offer of $20 with free shipping on these. And the last one we have is 824.12. This one right here. These are some women's Talbots black denim pants new with tags and um, these have been in the inventory for a while so someone sent me a best offer of 20 bucks and I went ahead and took it so those are the sales for today um, I've got some errands to go run and then once I get home we're gonna jump upstairs hop on the computer and answer a few of your questions so if any of you guys ever have any eBay related questions or any questions in general please let me know down in the comments and I'll be sure to put it in the video all right so I'm over at the computer now and we got a few questions from y'all and this question comes from Lori it says is there any way to see the amount the offer was that you sent out to someone when you send an offer out I sent quite a few and lost track of the amount of an offer that I sent and am not sure of the amount to counter offer so yeah that happens sometimes um I'm not sure I can't remember what it looks like on desktop but I do know on mobile if you ever looking at offers on your phone through the eBay app when you get a new offer and you look at it or say if you get a counter offer there should be at the top some tabs that say um, sent or completed and that stands for set offers and completed offers you can look through those and so let's say someone sends you an offer and then you send back a counter offer and then they counter offer you when you pull up that uh, you know review offer page there should be at the top it should say sent and completed um, click on the sent one and it's supposed to show the offer that you had already sent them right your initial counter offer before they counter offered you back but to be honest it doesn't always update on the app I know for myself I have this same problem and the app doesn't always work sometimes it does but one way to get around that if you're using a mobile phone and looking at it you can just take a screenshot so once you pick the offer you're gonna send and before you hit send just take a screenshot on your phone and then if they counter offer you you could just go back to your photos and see what you sent them. You can also do the same thing on desktop if that happens. And I thought I would have a uh, best offer sent to me whenever I was making this video by now, but um, I don't have one right now, so it's kind of hard for me to try to figure out exactly what that looks like. But easy way to get around that is just take screenshots of what the offer that you're sending. So hope that helps you out, Lori. And then I got another question from Mark over at the Mikado channel. He asked, do you iron the clothes if it's wrinkled prior to listing? Um, no, I don't. Not anymore. Um, I used to use a steamer, just one of those little hand wand steamers. That worked really well. But um, this is going to sound weird, but if you have a big stack of, let's say, shirts, you know, if you have like 10 or 15 shirts, you can like literally lay those out on a flat area and stack them on top of each other and it works wrinkles out of clothes. I really don't know why that works, but do the same thing with pants as well. Um, 
But I would say if you're new and starting out and you don't have a, a big feedback score on your eBay store, then I would, you know, take the time to, you know, make sure the clothes look really nice because you're going to need that extra effort to uh, get some sales since you don't have a big feedback score. But like I said, I don't do it anymore because I don't know how many times I've seen super wrinkled clothes that are just high dollar items and they still get their money for it. So I myself, you know, just stick to the uh, stacking clothes on top of each other. And sometimes, every now and then, I have a wrinkly item that I uh, just go ahead and take photos of and stuff. And it really doesn't seem to affect it. But my feedback score is really high. We just hit like 2,100 feedback. So that's really awesome. Um, but if you don't have a really high feedback score, then I would definitely, you know, take the, take the time for those little things like that. And... Uh, Hopefully that'll get you some more sales. But thanks for the question, Mark. But that's going to be it for today's video. Y'all hit that like button if you enjoyed it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any more big flips. And if you're new to my channel and you want more tips on how to sell on eBay, then check out some of my playlists. Also, if you're new to reselling and you want some shipping supplies on the cheap cheap, check out some of my affiliate links down in the description. If you purchase something through one of those links, I do make a small commission on it and it directly helps support the channel. So I really appreciate it. Thanks to each and every one of you for watching my videos and until I see y'all next time, keep flipping.